hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will see how to modify number format in click to demonstrate this example i have created a sample database this database is very simple we have customer year and sales we have seven customer and sales of these seven customers for year 2020 2021 and 2022 i will load this one now and at the front end we are going to create simple state table first of all i'm going to create sales for current year so instead of year today i'm going to use max year in set analysis so i can say sum of sales where my year equal to dollar sign expansion year max year So you can see at the bottom max year is 2022. So this will give me sum of sales per year 2022 and I will also use number format here and I will say my number format is this and the same one I will use for negative. I will also add the label here so I can say this one is for year max year. So it will give me year 2020. I will copy the whole expression here. I will duplicate it and here in the label I will say max year minus 1. But because I want max year minus 1 should evaluate separately. So I am using round bracket here. And instead of this max year I will say max year minus 1. So it will give me total sales for current year or max year minus 1 means previous year. So now you can see we have current year and previous year sales. If I will select 2021 then I will get sales of 2021 and 2020. So my objective is to find out the difference of selected years versus previous year sales. Before doing that I will create variables. So first variable I'm going to create for V sales current year and I will paste my expression here for the current year. I will create this one and then I will create another one. I will say V sales previous year and here I will use the same expression but instead of max year I will say max year minus one. And now instead of this expression I will say V sales current year with dollar sign expansion and here I will say V sales previous year with dollar sign expansion so I will get the same result. So now I will find out the difference. So here I will say dollar V sales current year minus dollar V sales previous year. So this will give me the difference. Now I want to use down arrow for all the negative numbers and up arrow for all the positive numbers. Means I want to show increase or decrease by up and down arrow. So now I want to show the positive difference with up arrow and negative difference with down arrow. So if I will use something like this in a KPI if I will say CHR 9650 then it will give me up arrow and if I will say CHR 9660 it will give me down arrow. So this is what I am going to use here. So I will create another expression and I will say if my current year sales or selected year sales is greater than equal to my previous year sales then I will use 9650 otherwise I will say 9660 and now it will give me up and down arrow. I will combine both of them. So to do that I will create one more expression and I will merge both expression 
and we'll see. So now we are getting a result something like this. As soon as we merge both the expression, this final result is coming as a text. So to show this result as number format, we can use dual function here. So I will use dual function here and this is my text and this is my number in dual. And now we will get the proper result in dual format. I don't need these expressions now and here I can say sales max year versus max year minus 1. So now we are getting the desired output. To convert this one in a proper number format, I can even write here and here I will say this is my number format. So now we are getting the output as proper number format. Even I can give little space here so it will appear much better way I can even add color here so I will say background color so I will say if V sales current year is greater than equal to V sales previous year then RGB 0 200 0 otherwise RGB 200 0 0 and we'll see the result something like this instead of background color it's better to use in a text color and we are getting this output I don't need this so you can see we have used dual here and where text is representing sales difference and up and down arrow based on the sales difference while the number is sales difference. Instead of using this lengthy expression, we can use a simple trick. I will show you the trick here. We will duplicate this expression and instead of this dual, we will simply use this. And we will use number format and inside number format there is an option formatting we will untick this one and here in a format pattern we will give something like this so we have removed all the decimal point now and we will go to character map of our windows and scroll at the bottom and we will see this arrow this arrow and we will copy both of them and we will paste it here and for positive numbers we will paste it here so I will give a space here and here as well and now once we implement this one we will get the same result so instead of using dual format we can simply implement like this with using a simple trick now if we select 2021 then our table will show us difference between 2021 and 2020 so you can see for customer AAA and triple g we have difference as zero so in such case no point of showing this up arrow so in case of 0, here 0 is not a positive, not a negative number. So for 0, we have to use a third format. So by going here and in the number format, we will mention another format here and I will say no change. So wherever it is 0, it will give us no change. Instead of no change, I can even write down something like this. I will use this equal sign 
and that equal sign I'm going to use here. So now you can see wherever the difference is zero, it is showing equal. I found this trick from one of the blog written by Rob Van der Lige. I have given link of that blog so that you can read it. Hope you like this trick. Thanks and have a great day.